Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a scrapbooking haul. So first up we've got these scrapbooking pieces of paper from the works. So this was only £1.50. The quality is always much lower than maybe like Hobbycraft or other specialist scrapbooking papers. But I just think at the price you can't really complain. And I liked it because it was a bit orangey. Anyway, from works I also got these adhesive gems. And then from Hobbycraft, I got these retro floral papers. And there's also a stripy one in the kit. Oh yeah, and this pink spotty one as well. But I really like the colours and they're a bit more autumnal. Or more sort of like boho or like country look. Anyway, I like those. And then I went to Lollipop Scrapbooking, which is an online shop. And I bought two packs of stickers. So I got these My Home ones and then, then also these picnic -y ones. And then I bought a reduced scrapbooking kit. And this is from September 2022. So here I am unboxing it. So it comes to this postcard. And then I really like this sort of um, cloud tissue paper. And then there's some love hearts inside. There wasn't a lollipop in either of the boxes actually. And I thought that was like part of the whole thing. Anyway, so there's this craft magazine, craft zine here. Which has some ideas and also comes with a recipe. And there's like a little card to cut out or do something with and then here are some like embellishments sort of like luggage tag and a little envelope and a green piece of card oh yeah I really like these sequins so this one looks like a little bit of like a citrus fruit I'm just pointing them out I thought that was pretty cool I hadn't seen that before anyway here I am just cutting up the first paper bag it's really not nice it's like getting a present in the post or something and you know it's all going to be good stuff anyway here's this enjoy die cut word which i think is quite cool and then there's this luggage tag which has been stamped onto it then i got one of these hearts and then there is sort of a post-it like two post-it notes that are brown and it says time plan and it has like a clock and four bits so that might be good for journaling. So here I am just showing you that there is two. And then last in the bag was these, this like card which can be like cut out. So that's why I was pointing with the scissors. Okay, next we've got this orange paper bag and I'm just cutting it. So try and save it. I like to reuse the bags for like wrapping up gifts or even use the bags as like a scrapbooking paper so inside there was another bag which says craft in and that is a etsy seller i think her name is nadine and then it's craft so it's craft in anyway there are some these are some watercolor hearts which i really like they're like die cut uh, then i'm just showing you the business card but yeah this would be nice to like stick onto cards and stick around my scrapbook and then we've got some orange and white twine. I like to oh, say it's twine. That's quite nice. And then we've got some little letter stickers and the font colour is pink. And then these September stinkers are all a bit autumnal. But I will get around to using them at some point, if not for this summer. At time of filming it's the summer, but I think this video will be going up in September. So... Anyway, then there's this Relum sort of tissue paper with pink cupcakes on, which is really nice. And I think this would be quite cool for card making. And then last in this kit is this pink tissue paper bag with the scrapbooking pieces of paper in them. So I think they're five by eight inches. I think that's the size of each piece of card. But anyway, this is so much thicker than the works. It's like really good quality. Anyway, these... Um, first couple of pages that you could like cut them out and use them as embellishments which is cool and then I really like this pumpkin page and then there's this orangey one of words which you could cut out individually if required just really like it great quality card stock oh yeah then, then I like these um, flowers this has actually been useful for scrapbooking New Orleans and then a like, stripy paper to finish and then I bought another kit, so this was a June 2023 kit called One Fine Day. So here I am just opening it up and there's like a postcard in there. The craft magazine, so it always has some nice ideas, a recipe and sort of, I think there was also journal prompts actually. 
Yeah, so this paper is just like plain white tissue paper. I was very excited. Oh yeah, sorry, my hands look a bit sickly. And the reason why I'm doing a voiceover is because at time of filming this, I had completely lost my voice and I was recovering from an operation inside my mouth. So that's why I've kind of come back and doing a voiceover. Anyway, you got this postcard and it says mindset and a green leaf. And then maybe it's just a coincidence, but I got the same um, white heart as I got in the previous kit as well. Anyway, pink paper clip and then a little card which says you look lovely today. And then inside there's all the goodies. So first of all, we've got some pink ribbon. It's fairly fine and thin. Oh yeah, and then these brown stickers. I think I might use them in my kitchen or something because I've recently bought a house, but I can use them around the house maybe rather than for scrapbooking. Oh yeah, I like this um, luggage tag with a cupcake cut, on to, cut into it. I thought that was cool. Anyway, here is the like the little code I got. So that's what I was holding, code to get the printables. Oh yeah, and then here are some sort of pink die cut as a house and an arrow just showing you up close and it's like a gingham or checkered pattern and then i'm showing you again this is the really cut out so we've got leaves words teacup really cool and then here's a little pack of 10 stickers oh yeah and then i really like these they're like bees with wings and then a little plastic key so I've seen the ladybird ones, but I haven't seen bees ever before, so I was really happy with those. No idea what I'm going to use them for, but I'm really happy to see those. It really brought a smile to my face when I was feeling pretty bad. And it's this like a brownie, orangey coloured envelope, which would be good for journaling in the scrapbook. And then there's like a little cutout flower I just showed you. So here I am opening the next tissue paper bag, and in here are all of these die cut like teapots and teacups which is nice and then here I'm holding like a little relum envelope which contains a stamp for a flower I don't tend to do a lot of stamping I tend to just do letters for my scrapbooking like writing out words with stamped letters but I'm gonna have to think of some way I can use this flower stamp oh yeah I like this tissue paper actually so it's like green stems pink flowers only a small amount but really pretty and then this is from like a collaboration that the lollipop box was doing with an Etsy seller called chapter 8 so it's these kind of like old-fashioned bits that you can like cut out and use that for journaling or like decoration in the scrapbook so then last but not least in this box is the scrapbooking papers so I'm just cutting open the bag Oh yeah, and then I really, really like this paper, so you can like cut out all the different embellishments, all like different bits, and turn them into embellishments. And then I thought all the papers were all quite fun, so this is like teapots and teacups. Green writing. And then we've got leaves and teacups. And then this like white one which says, be cheerful. So this is everything that I bought. It's about £45 worth of stuff. But I was really happy. It kept me very well entertained and I still got a lot left to be using. Uh, I was super pleased with these bees in particular. I just think they're really cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.